Um, let's see. I think we have a what would Wombat do? Let me just dive into this All real right, quick. I can't wait. It's a short one, and okay. it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. uh, this is from Shane. He says, uh, basically, he worked really hard to pre-order an Xbox Series X, like through every possible retail channel. He finally was able to score one through Target. Uh, and then, you know, whenever the thing comes out, finally, can't wait for the thing to show up and comes downstairs and there's two boxes, identical boxes in his driveway, both from Target, both the same, opens them up. They're both Xbox One Series Xs. Okay. He looks on the shipping labels, the, the tracking numbers were identical. Uh, everything was like... Uh, you know, the, on the label was identical and he calls Target and Target like really like doesn't know, obviously they don't know what the fuck's going on. Like, what are they going to tell you to do? They were like, um, <laughs> they didn't know what to do. Basically he said um, he could return it in store for a full refund if he didn't want it. So Wombat, what do you do? That's a tough one. Cause I mean, I, I'm going to assume like like myself, you would have no use for two Xbox Series Xs. He actually uh, called Target to see yeah, what he should do with should it. Do. And he checked and to see that he wasn't charged for it twice. So if he wasn't charged for it and Target, you know, again, he's in the clear because he called Target yeah. to do with it basically whatever he wants. I mean, the, the path of least What would you do, Wombat? I'm, That's it. You shouldn't think about it too hard. This is what would you do? I'm going to go with the path of least resistance yes. and just return that second one back to Target. And get a free, and now you've got a free Xbox. And now you've got a free Xbox and someone else somewhere will get an Xbox at retail price. Okay, there you go. Well, that that would that I feel like is the is the might be the easiest way to go about it. That is a good uh good answer. Shane uh basically sold it to his friend for 400, that, I was gonna say that's for 400 bucks. <laughs> that's the other option you just sell it for what you paid for it right and, and just you know you got a deal he got and you, you still oh, it's still yeah. the same thing you made four hundred dollars everybody worked yeah. out good well yeah worked out well for everyone okay uh what else do we got here some cag bag questions uh this is from at sgn 2010 he says i asked this question three or four years ago and gpd was in the lead with two or three times a week with everyone's children older now, out of the three of you, who is getting laid the most? Can anyone beat? Well, I asked Mrs. Chibi right before we did the show. I told her, see what I did. I'm so smart. I told Mrs. I told her, hey, Mrs. Chibi, somebody wrote in this question and blah, blah, blah. To see like if she'd be upset about me asking it. And she wasn't. And she says that actually we're up to at least because of the pandemic and that she doesn't have to go to work like so early, you know, at much. <laughs> doesn't have to go to work, work much uh, in terms of commuting. That it's definitely made it easier to have sex because I don't have to go to bed as early. And so we're up to like three times a week, three to four, but three definitely. Anybody beat that? That's a lot. No, we're not, I'm not going to beat that. I might be at a two and that's also because we're both home and we both like, we'll both like do the supernatural in the morning. And then by then the okay. kids are gone. The game, the, 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 game, the exercise, the, game, the exercise game. Oh, Sorry. Oh, I didn't know. I thought this was a term Se for something. It's a sex yeah. position. <laughs> it's a, the supernatural. That's when and you just like, you just like fuck air. It's like, you both it, fuck but, air. yeah. So we're, so it's already like, well, we have to take a shower and it's already kind of late. So let's just get in the shower. So sexy. You got it. Shipwreck, can you yeah. beat me off? But I, I cannot. <laughs> Winner. Shipwreck, Shipwreck still has young children. He's at the uh wait, is it someone's birthday? Is that Every somebody time. walking? Is that somebody wait. walking outside our door? Did I miss did, wait, what's going on here? Did I miss a birthday? <laughs> Who is is it kid? my birthday? <laughs> Which what's one are you on? again? Which one Who? are you? Well, thank you. Well, Mrs. Chibi will be happy to know that we're still good. Yeah. Good. Glad. Uh, at Andrew, Andrew asks, does Shipwreck have an update on his fancy cat litter box? That's funny because I was just thinking about that the other day. Who doesn't think about it? My cats. <laughs> My cats don't think about it. They, that means it's good. No, no, they don't. They don't. The problem is 
they don't use it very often because we have the other litter boxes still there. Oh, they're not even using it? Not often, no. What? They have, we've, we've got four cats. I don't know if I told you we got a fourth cat. It's got, it's got three legs and no tail. Oh, yeah. What's his name? Lucky? Uh, Smudge. <laughs> Smudge nice. is his name. Um, and so Skip. we've got four, four litter boxes and only one of them is smart. Right. What right. The, one of the cats is smart or one of the litter boxes? Uh, I <laughs> one of the cats is smarter than the other ones. <laughs> right. That yeah. seems so, plausible. So I think we didn't commit to it hard enough, right? You didn't we didn't say like, okay, you don't have yeah, it's anywhere, your fault. you don't have any other options here. It was the Yeah, why didn't you do that? I feel like I was yeah, I, was, I feel like that's a mistake. Mm-hmm. They're making you're making your life harder for no reason. Get on that. It's not, it's, it's not my chore anyways. So, right. I see. I, I'm not, I, I would drop dead the minute I walked into your house. <laughs> from cat attack. You just stay, yeah. just stay in a different area of the house. It does. The cat allergies don't work that way. <laughs> They're everywhere. It you can't go to much. Howard Stern's house either. No, I could not. No. It's like 30 cats. I know. Uh, what else we got here at Kabang Chu writes in, he says, which is the better looter shooter destiny Two, borderlands three or outriders. What's outriders. Look, outriders is that game pass <laughs> one. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was a joke. I mean, I, I'm going to go with, uh, whichever one you enjoy playing the most is the right answer. Is that destiny two and borderlands three are both very, very good. I know, but they're also both very different. They are very, very different as well. Yes. Borderlands three, I can play by myself and it's yep. offline. Destiny two, I cannot do that with. Outriders is like some weird hybrid in the middle. Uh, I they're so different. I don't even. I would not love. I wouldn't say Borderlands three and Destiny two are the same genre. So I say that this question is uh, it gets uh, disqualified. You, all right. I I'm... disqualify the question. All right, Shanna Fan writes in and he asks, does Shipwreck have any interest in the newly announced Qbert arcade minis? You know what that is? You're Googling it right I do. now. No, I do. It's the, I'm, I was the, what are the, Retro, what's the name of that company? Retrocade? No. One up? No, no. It's the These league? are the ones that are one six size. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm forgetting the name of that company currently, but, um, they're good quality. Uh, I'm interested in it. I, it's an odd size, like right. So, it's a foot tall. Like, oh, uh, I mean, it's one six size, right? They're they're normally like six feet tall. Um, How much is so this? You know, one hundred and thirty dollars, I think, oh boy. for the for the early ability to purchase. Okay. Um, and then I just don't like running out of space for that type of stuff. Right. Like, like that takes up some space. You gotta, you gotta carve out a space for that. <laughs> you don't um, have space for Qbert in your life. I, I'm tempted to it, to get I it. I am. It, it, it looks cool. It's just, it's an odd size. Like it's not going to fit on a shelf real well. Cause it's a foot tall. Right. Um, keep so, in your bathroom. All right. <laughs> I'll do that. While you you're sitting on the bowl, me. you could. <laughs> Probably enough room for it's probably a good size for a bathroom, actually. Think about it. I will. Make sure people wash their hands though before they use it. Gross. 